I'm going to do a little bit of drywalling here. There was a leak on this roof, and I took out the old piece of drywall to the right here is a power fan. You see how that works. It vents the house out. And then first thing I'm going to do is you see there's some insulation up there. And I have another roll of the exact same thing down here. I'm going to cut some pieces and put them in the ceiling here. This is the part of the job most people don't like, but it's a very big necessity. Because the drywall is going to be holding it in place, I really don't have to staple it into place. If you take a look here, you'll see I put a little mark here and here on the wall. That's going to show where my rafters are at, my floor joists and rafters. And here, I did the same thing here and here. So that way, when I'm ready to drill my drywall, it's going to fit right in there. Like I said, I'm going to put a little bit of insulation up first. I did have to buy a whole roll just for three pieces. But you can always use insulation later on for something else. The thing is, you don't want your freezing ceilings. Look here, last piece. Anytime you need us to work for you, just give us a call. You can find more videos that we'll be posting about what we do. Now, I'm going to stage my drill and a couple of screws here, so I'm ready to put this piece up. Now, here's a sheet of drywall. It's half inch thick. It's around three foot by three foot. Of course, I have this one pre-cut. Matter of, I've already fitted it, so I'm just gonna fit like that. Normally, I'm wearing a hard hat. I don't have one on today. But you see my mark there? Of course, I don't have power. Thanks for plugging it in. showing you how it's done. I like to use this kind of paper. It's perforated so you don't actually have to put the mud on first. This is self-sticking. Just like I said, I'm just giving you an idea how this goes. You pull the back off of the paper and just press it into the corner here. It's very, it makes anybody can do a repair like this. And of course, you probably noticed that I didn't finish drilling the drywall on. I'm just giving you a quick overview. This is sheetrock topping. It's the one that I like the most. It's going to take two or three coats of mud. Drywall mud is white. 
and uh, pretty much all you have to do is put it in a tray here, whatever you think you're going to use. And I'll show you how this goes. Now you, you look here, I have a six inch flat trowel. And I also have what's called a corner trial trowel. It just makes my job so much easier if I have the right tools handy. Pretty much I'm just going to spread a little mud both sides of this corner. Like this. I'm going to do the whole, the whole section here. Of course, we're used to working for a living, so it may look easier if I'm doing it. I've only been doing this 35 years, and, uh, but it's nothing that you can't learn by simply doing it yourself. Watching a video is fine, but doing it yourself. Now, you see I have all of these little calips up here. I'm going to take this thing and run it across one time, nice and light. And it gives me a perfect inside corner. Of course, I'd like to show you a flat spot here, real simply. Just the same thing. And just flatten that out. This is the first coat, of course. I'm put a little more on there. Flatten that out. Didn't, didn't look good. Let me do it again. Pretty much, that just showed you how it's done. And I'm back to finishing the job. I just simply have to finish screwing up the drywall before I continue this project. And like I said, there's a pencil mark here. So I know a little bit in here, I'm gonna catch the after. You don't wanna over sink your screw, but you want it below surface or else when you hit it with a trowel, you're gonna have a little bit of a lump. A lot of people, they actually pencil that line out, but like I say, I've done this a few hundred times before. I kind of know my way around it. And thanks for watching, and keep watching these very helpful, instructive videos on how to maintain your house. Anybody can maintain their house just going out and doing it. I'd like to give you an idea. This seat of drywall costs $6.00. That tub of mud costs $11 at your local hardware store. This, this little roll of tape here can cost anywhere from $4 to $8. And this roll of insulation was $8. The tools themselves consist of this item here. It's, it's a pretty expensive tool, $8 or $9. Of course, the 6-inch trowel is four or five dollars, a mud tray, a box of screws is normally two or three dollars, and the sander and sanding paper, but anybody can do that for twenty, thirty dollars, you can do the whole job. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Greg Santos.